So hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. Thank you for stopping by. In this little quick video, what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at cameras, focal lengths and how to avoid fisheye when you do some close-ups. Now, for those of you who are not sure what I mean when I say fisheye, we can kind of see an extreme example of it on screen at the moment. Uh, what it is, it's, it's a wide angle camera set and that produces what is technically known as a curvilinear image but we normally commonly call it a fisheye effect. And it's where the center of the image seems to bulge out towards the camera somewhat, creating this spherical type of look that we can see. Now in Dodge, you probably won't notice this distortion too much, certainly not if you're doing a lot of uh, wider angle scenes. Let's say you've got your camera pulled back like I have that you can see on screen here, and we're doing a full body shot or even a half body shot of the model. You probably won't notice the, the this distortion effect if you're using the base default cameras. But if we move into the cam into the model and we move into a face for instance let's say we come up and we just come into this base camera that i've got set up you can kind of see that spherical little image there that we've got where it almost looks like the center of a face round about a nose has been pinched and grabbed and pulled towards the camera somewhat stretching the whole rest of a head can't see it it's subtle but it's there so this is what we get then when we go in for a close-up portrait using the base default camera with all the default settings we get this distortion where the face and the center of the image bulges out towards the camera so how do we get around this well what i'm going to do to begin with with the camera that we've got i'm going to create another camera so if i come up to create and go new camera and i'm going to create this camera exactly the same spot that this current camera is that we're looking through uh, so when i select that and click accept we now get a new camera in our scene and now looking through that camera which i've named non-fisheye camera by the way if we just if i just use my mouse wheel to just to, to scroll the camera back to pull it back away from the model we can see that that fisheye effect seems to disappear a little bit as we pull out uh, which is great which is what we want but as you will no doubt be saying what we want is we want a close-up portrait of our model uh pulling the camera out like that isn't going to do this so what we need to do is if we come up to the non-fisheye camera and give it a click and then come down to the camera tab down here if you don't have the camera tabs by the way you can come up to window panes and then you can select camera there then you'll get the window open come down to cameras give that a click and then we want to come down to camera here and we want to look at the focal length of the camera now as a default it's set at 65 i'm not going to go into all the technicalities of lenses and all these things here all i'm going to do is just focus on this focal length if we lower that value you can see that we move out further now the camera's not moving here we're just changing the focal length of the camera and if we go higher than 65 you can see that we kind of zoom into our model uh lower takes us out up takes us in and i'll show that we're not actually moving the the camera here and i just come out of the perspective just zoom out a little bit and if i change the focal length you can see there's not the camera moving it's just the focal length of the lens now what i want to try and do is to replicate the view that we had earlier through the default camera that we look through uh, so that we can flip between the the fish eye view and the non fish eye view just so you can see the difference uh, and we're going to do that with a combination of camera position and the ad adjustment of the focal length down here now to really highlight this difference what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the focal length to 300 millimeters now this is extreme and i wouldn't really go with this normally but i'm just doing this just so we can see the difference and you can see that we've zoomed right into the character's face uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the camera position so that we more or less now get the same view that we had earlier. Uh, I think it might be about there. Now I've edited out one or two little micro adjustments there in the positioning of the camera. Uh, but what we have now, we have uh, an image that we is more or less an exact image uh, of what we had with the base default camera earlier on. But this time, can you see that there's no fisheye? Now, if I start flipping between the two, so that's our non flush fisheye camera. This is our base default camera from earlier. Hopefully now you can start to see the difference between fisheye and a non fisheye view of the model. Uh, now, as I mentioned earlier, 300 millimeters is probably a little bit extreme if you're doing a close up portrait like this. Uh, what you want to try and look for is maybe 
about 85 millimeter that's probably uh the best setup that you're going to get for, for any type of portrait so if we take it down to 85 millimeters now instead and let's put the mm on the end did i take it down to 85 and then again i'm going to readjust the position of the camera by using in this case my mouse button to reposition it to more or less where i want it to be uh, again a few little micro edits and now that i'm happy with the positioning that we've got if we now flip back and forward again between the base camera where we were and the non fisheye you can see that that's very even just with a, a 20 millimeter change in the focal length it, it's very much less spherical than what it was earlier and if we take a look at that in renders so we start with the 65 millimeter and move on to the 85 millimeter focal length I've also dropped a 150 millimeter in there so that the jump to 300 millimeter isn't that great also. Uh, but if we ping pong between them, we can see that transition from a fisheye image through to a non fisheye image when we're using the extreme 300 millimeter le uh, focal length. What's best? Well, like I said earlier, 85 millimeter is generally accepted as something that you can't go too far wrong with. Uh, but it depends on you and your scene how close are you wanting up to be up to your model and are you happy with a little bit of fisheye i mean some people are uh, but experiment with the focal length and, and the camera distance from your model and you know you'll probably happen upon something that you like uh, but for now that's it for this quickie thanks for watching please like and share the video down below if you think it's been helpful drop me a super thanks down below if you think it's been really helpful and that's your type of thing uh, and as usual questions and comments drop them down below in the section uh, underneath this video and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can so that's it focal lengths fish eyes bye bye for now